We're here at Wicket 2012 in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mishuki Mwangi who is Senior Development Manager for Africa for the Internet Society. Mishuki, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you for inviting me. I'm happy to be here. I'd like to start off by asking you about the particular regional concerns that Africa might have in terms of the Internet and telecommunications. Um, as, you would, uh, as you're well aware, um, Africa is considered as an emerging uh, economy, uh, an emerging region, and for that reason, being behind the rest of the world, uh, it, there is a huge contingent of the African community here, and it's here to protect its own interests uh, with, in, because it has interests to catch up with the rest of the world, and um, that's why there is a strong and team here to participate in the discussions um, of, of the wicked. Now, you're also here representing the Kenyan delegation, is that right? Yes. What particular outcomes are you hoping uh, to see here? Well, um, with, with the Kenyan delegation, the, the interests uh, here will be to ensure that we are able to participate at uh, the same footing with the rest of the world. And uh, that is of a particular interest, not just to Kenya, but the rest of the African group as well. What has been your impression of the process so far? Well, um, being the first time to a Wicked conference and coming in here to, in, uh, to support the Kenyan government from the private sector, uh, first and foremost, we are quite impressed with the fact that the ITU is opening up and the Kenyan government and governments in Africa are bringing on board private sector to get involved in the process. And uh, for us, this is a welcome change and this is the start of collaboration and partnership, which is something we've observed on the internet and we hope that is going to continue going forward. There's been a lot of talk about transparency at this conference. It's obviously a, a difficult conference. It's very, a lot of the subjects are very dense. What's been your experience of this? Well, um, for the internet community, uh, for some of us who it's the first time, we'll say it's a different environment from what we are accustomed to. And uh, we have to learn how the process works, which is a place to start, and then We've, uh, we, we, we need to see how we can also get to learn how to, to engage in the process. So uh, for us it's been a learning opportunity and we thank the ITU for making the opportunity possible for uh, the stakeholders to get involved. Yesterday I had the chairman sitting where, where you are now mm -hmm. and I asked him about what happens within the actual meetings themselves uh, and whether a lot of it actually happens outside of the meetings in, in, in sort of informal gatherings. Mm -hmm. What's been your experience of that? Well, uh, from the structure of the meeting, what we've learned is that uh, there's what happens in the meeting and there's what they call ad hoc meetings and committee meetings where more discussions tend to take place. So it's a mix of both. And how is Wicked impacting the work that is being done in Africa? Um, one of the good things about such a process is that it brings to the fore the discussions and the important issues which uh, currently with telecommunications and the internet. And in this respect, uh, it has provided a platform where multi-stakeholders are able to engage. And what we've seen in Africa, especially with the work the Internet Society is doing in Africa, is that we've found a platform where we can work together with various partners, not just the private sector, but including governments. And as a result, we are working with the African Union, Right now we're in a process where we're working with the African Union to help implement critical infrastructure in Africa uh, through the AXIS program where we're implementing internet exchange points. And that is a process which is really critical towards bringing Africa to the same level as developed countries. So for us we see that the outcomes of the wicked, the work that's going on with the wicked is helping l bring up the countries which are really emerging uh, uh, or Lag, lagging behind on this uh, uh, very critical uh, uh, resource, which is the internet and telecommunications. And so you're optimistic for the outcome of this conference? Um, I would like to remain optimistic because optimism is important in trying to achieve the objectives of the meeting. And uh, we hope that with the involvement of the stakeholders uh, as a whole and the member states, that we will be able to reach consensus and uh, which is really important and critical for the way forward for all the parties that have an interest um, in, in, in the Wicked process. Mishuki Mwangi, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you.